Hi YouTube, I wanted to do just uh, one more follow-up video. I just did a, a three-hour round trip with the trailer for the first time, so I learned some lessons and, uh, and how it behaves and stuff. And I wanted to go over a couple things I forgot and some other stuff I might do. So uh, one of the things I definitely learned and I just fixed is uh, any of these bolts you got at the top, make sure you really cut those all the way down and grind them all the way down to the nuts. And uh, that's mainly because uh, t-shirts like to get caught on that and they'll just immediately rip. So grind that all the way down so when you're leaning over the side, you don't actually accidentally destroy all your work clothes, good or bad. Um, the other thing I think I also failed to mention out of the other videos is the, uh, the trailer bolts are upside down. And uh, the bolt heads are down below, so that way there's extra clearance for the tires, just in case they ever get close enough. I don't, I'm not sure if they would, but it's just a strict precaution. And the three-hour trip also threw out a little bit of grease out of the, the caps and stuff. But the hub stayed cool and ran nice. The one thing I did learn is the springs are extremely stiff. So when the trailer has no weight, it likes to bounce around the road all over the place. So I did, before I left, is I added some uh, extra uh, weight into it, just as ballast. These are 70-pound bags, so 140 pounds, and that helped a lot. That wasn't great. But uh, after I loaded it up and drove it home that extra hour and a half, it ran perfectly fine, like it was barely there. Um, then the only other thing I was going to mention was... Uh, I thought of this later on, but I didn't think about it when I was doing it. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do it or not. Is uh, when you got these sides on like this, you don't got any tie down locations. What you can do is you can cheat. Well, at least I can definitely cheat. Is uh, I got plenty of warpage in these plywood sides that I'm able to move these sides just far enough apart so I can jam a hook for a ratchet strap through that gap and then tie it and then just hook it underneath or hook it to one of the eyelets, which is what I did when I had the sandbags and managed to just get a ratchet strap and just jimmy it down the side to hook it into here. And that worked well enough. So I'm probably not going to do this modification, but when I thought about it later on, I realized I have a couple extra of these. Um, strangely, I only have seven extra, but if you wanted to do this, you need an extra eight. So for the bottom bolt, in these sides, I would actually use one of these guys. Um, so you could either, this would give you an extra tie down strap right inside the trailer. Try to make this swappable with like a regular bolt so you could have it uh, a smooth side. So if you're hauling like loose material like mulch or something, but if you're hauling some kind of large object in the middle, you could put a bunch of these in so you could still keep the sides but have uh, appropriate uh, tie downs inside. Like I said, I think I'm just not going to do that for as often as I need it. I'll be able to slip a ratchet strap through the through the the gap in the bottom there, and then hook it into the someplace on the side, the side rail. Other than that, hell of a project. I mean, saves a lot of money trying to buy a pickup truck and then hauling around a an empty bed for most of its days. Uh. That was about it. Everything else went fantastic. So enjoy your uh, trailer ride and keep safe. Thanks.